Time out. Welcome back to another edition of Time Out, where we're going to talk, take a time out to talk about a couple of big non-conference games that happened last week. First of all, a couple of Class C teams that have both had double-digit wins, but entering last week hadn't been ranked yet. A non-conference game between Battle Creek at Neely Oakdale, the last home game of the season for the Warriors. Austin Rice ended up with a putback for a 34-20 halftime lead, and then he came back in the second half and hit three or four free throws in the last 22.4 seconds. The Warriors with a 51-46 win over the Braves. Here's Neely Oakdale coach Ethan Larson. They really did give us a good run, and uh, they're a great team that I'm sure we're going to see again. Uh, we saw them in the holiday tournament. It came down to the wire tonight. It was no different. So um, I, I think we're prepared. You're right, our schedule may not have as many C2 teams on it as others, uh, but our boys are playing at a high level. I don't think we've beat yet, and I'm excited for what's coming down the stretch. Both teams had balanced scoring in the game for Battle Creek. Luke Stuvey and Reese Bodie both finished with 11 points. Dylan Mettler with 9 points, but a lot of those came in the fourth quarter to help fuel a big Battle Creek rally. For Neely Oakdale, Julian Hearn and Cole Bielitz both had 12 points. Austin Rice and Isaac Kirkwhite both had 10 points. Here's Austin Rice after the win. We're playing a lot better ball, more efficient. We're all we're all working a lot better. We have we cut our turnovers almost in half. So I think just being more efficient is really helping us. Also last week, Wakefield traveled to Howells Dodge. Wakefield rated third in the latest listing, while Howells Dodge is seventh in a big non-conference game. The Trojans came out with a 13-0 run after the Jaguars got the first basket of the game. Howells Dodge naturally countered with an 8-0 run, and neither team could really pull away from there. Wakefield got the final word, though. Three free throws in the last 21.7 seconds, and the Trojans take home a 48-43 win. The thing about this one, Wakefield won this game with two things, and really two things, defense and three-pointers. Howells Dodge less than 30% from the field, finished 17 of 57 from the field. Wakefield attempted 20 two fewer shots than Howells Dodge did and made only two fewer. Wakefield also 8 of 13 from the three-point arc. Blake Brown finished with a game-high 13 points. Solomon Pites 12 points, 11 rebounds. Esger Godinez 11 points. For Howells Dodge, Luke Rochford had 12 points. Josh Brester 11 and RJ Byer 10. Here's Wakefield coach Joe Wente. We, we got a couple things to clear up, but um, uh, we're shooting with confidence. We're playing really good defense, and those are things coaches like to see here at the end of the year. Also on Saturday was the Harlan Hoops Classic over in Grand Island. Bancroft, Rosalie, Lions, Decatur among the teams in action, getting a 68-52 win over Auburn. Auburn was ranked 10th in Class C1. Lucas Vogt with 21 points. Will Gatzmeyer added 20. Big win for the Wolverines. And... One other area team was in action over in Grand Island. North Bend drops a 52-43 game against Grand Island Central Catholic. The Crusaders ninth in Class C1. Tanner Wheatfield had a game-high 23 points for the Tigers. Look for the last boys basketball ratings before sub-districts in Thursday's paper. You can either buy the paper or, as we've mentioned earlier, for half off a digital subscription, call the circulation department. Promo code is Alexa. A-L-E-X-A. -E Not that hard. Even I can figure it out. Until next time, I'm Nick Bench, and thanks for taking a time out with us.